What's up guys, Dustin here with Two Brothers Comics and I was challenged by multiple people to show the top five comics in my comic book collection. Now mine may, may be a little different than everybody else's because I'm not going to just show the biggest books in my collection or the most valuable books in my collection. I'm showing my five top favorite comics and I'm doing this vlogger style so the camera may just be all over the place. But hey, you know what, let me just try something a little different than me just sitting in a chair. So my five favorite comic books in my collection as of right now, obviously our favorites always change, right? So let's get to number five. The number five is gonna be my Fantastic Four issue number 51 in a CGC 9.0. You guys know I bought this late last year. This was one of my last minute pickups, pickups of the year. And uh, after falling in love with this character, Ben Grimm, The Thing, this is a book that you got to have if you're a fan of The Thing. And I didn't just want any copy. I wanted a high-grade copy, which is very hard to find in this particular book. Next up, we're going to keep it with the Fantastic Four. We're going to go <whistles> Fantastic Four, issue number one. It's the Golden Record reprint, but it is a CGC 8.0. Off-white to white pages, I mean... That's not too shabby for a book from 1966, just four short years after the original first print was set up and hit the printers, this one right here followed suit. So in my opinion, an 8.0 of that book from that time period, that's still pretty freaking cool. Next up, this was a book I picked up last year, 2022, at Lexington Comic Con. This was like the big pickup I had at Lexington Comic Con and I got it for a major deal. I got it just a couple of months before he passed away and that is Batman issue 227 CGC 7.0 signed by Neil Adams. So you have that beautiful cover there. You got the signature. I mean it's just a great book to have in general but I love Neil Adams. I love Batman. Batman finally started coming down in price with everything else, so that's what I'm picking up right now. And I'm, I'm glad to have picked that one up last year because it is still way more expensive than I paid for it at that time. Three down, we got two to go. Now, these aren't really in any particular order. However, you guys know that I love my Walking Dead issue number one, CGC 9.8, and it is beautiful. It is the Black Mature Readers. You see that right there, the Black Mature Readers. Uh, apparently that makes it more valuable because it's extremely scarce, whatever. I picked this up as a PGX 9.6 at Lexington Comic Con 2021. So Lexington Comic Con, outside of this year, it's always been pretty good to me. But uh, this book right here is one that I, I had to purchase because I loved the comics so much once I started reading them. It's also one of those books that everybody seemed to be excited about and looked at as a big book when we first got into comics here at Two Brothers Comics. But it was never a book that I had any interest in and never considered uh, wanting to own until I read the series. And it has absolutely been probably my favorite read, bar none. <clears throat> All right, now I'm gonna cheat because this is my video, and I'm doing six because I, I, I couldn't, I couldn't choose between these last two. So you guys know, you know, we're not getting a Two Brothers Comics, Dustin's top anything in his collection video without seeing it. We gotta see it, right? We gotta see it. There it is, baby. Mortal Kombat. That is the Midway issue number one, CGC 9.8, baby. And this one here is the. No collector's edition, no price variant, the only 9.8 on the planet, and of course nobody else could have this but me, right? I mean, look at the Mortal Kombat high grade collection, baby. Everything 9.8 except two, but uh, you guys know this was going to have to show up on this list, right? I mean, if you knew me, come on. All right, now this last book, the reason I have to put this on here is because I finally got the book. They got me into comic books, the book that brought me in. And not only that, but it's signed by my childhood hero. And I got an unbelievable deal on this book after searching high and low since I got into comic books for a 9.8. I ended up finding a yellow label 9.8 for a little cheaper than the blue labels were selling for. And that is 
Mighty Morphin Power Rangers issue number nine, the first appearance of Lord Draken. And uh, I picked this up a couple of months before uh, JDF passed. And, you know, it just having it now, I didn't really care to have one signed. I've got multiple books signed by JDF, met him multiple times. Um, but now having it, uh, it, it definitely makes it a lot more special. So you can see there the signature on that visor. Beautiful 9.8. First appearance of the character that brought me into comic books. And uh, yeah, it's, it's definitely, definitely probably the most sentimental book in my collection at this point. So I uh, had to put it on this list. So that's the top five plus one in my collection. And I guess I got to tag some other folks. So I'm going to tag my hunt buddies. We're going to go with Tony Sanders. I don't know how he's going to do it because he only goes live and does the hunt. So Tony Sanders, I want to see his. I'm definitely calling out Russell, my man, who that comics and movies. Got to see his. I would love to see him do an edited video. I don't think he's ever done one. But I'd love to see an edited video of his top five biggest books in his collection. Because y'all all really don't understand how bad this man's collection is. It is, it is incredible. I'm also going to tag Bleecker Street Comics. I want to see your top five in your collection as well, bro. That's my tags. I want to see you guys' books. Hope you guys enjoyed mine. Drop me a comment. Let me know what you thought about my top five. And make sure you check out everybody else's top five comics in their collection. As always, guys, collect your way.